Hello everybody and welcome to Noita. Today we are going to be talking about a very particular spell. That spell being Piercing Shot. So, Piercing Shot has recently gotten an update. Uh, it's now much more expensive than it used to be and it has some unique properties not shared by any other spell in the game. Making it exceptionally powerful in multiple builds. I'm going to show off a couple of the scenarios where Piercing Shot is going to be best. So, uh, we've got a super basic wand built up here. It's nothing special. I just spawned in a bunch of wands that you can find throughout the levels. And uh, we are going to do a couple of little damage tests. I'm going to talk about the various combinations and uh, we'll, we'll see what we end up with. So, we've got a super basic damage up plus Spark Bolt. Let me, let me just fire this as doing 13 damage, 12.99, nothing special. So, what Piercing Shot does is it allows whatever the projectile is to hit for multiple times every time the Piercing Shot manages to land on a target for a frame. It'll deal damage in that frame or, uh, you know, it'll have whatever effect the projectile has for each frame that it's dealing damage. Okay, so. Uh, here's a super basic damage test. We've already uh, established it deals 13 damage without the piercing shot. You'll notice that it deals some variable damage. 25, that time it only did 12 because I passed through a smaller amount. So, the larger tar the target, the more damage it's going to deal. You can see it also allows for more chances to crit. Each unique instant will crit differently. And, uh, yeah, you can see we've got a couple of different damage numbers showing up here. You can see it is an immensely costly spell to add to a wand. So, you definitely need to make sure you're putting this on a wand that can sustain it. And if the wand can't sustain it, you have to find a way to uh, really extend the amount of damage it's going to deal. So, I've, I've got a couple of different scenarios in which piercing becomes absolutely exceptional. There are multiple interactions which are particularly powerful with piercing. One of the first things that I discovered with piercing is how exceptional it reacts with homing, for example. So, if I, if I place homing onto this, uh, you'll see I went from doing 25 damage to a consistent 300. 200, 300. You can see it's it's doing amazing damage thanks to just homing. This is just a spark bolt. I, I could even take this off. We're still doing 44 damage. That's going to kill most enemies in the game uh, toward the early game. Obviously, we're going to be a little bit later, so damage plus is a likely thing to find. You're going to run into these three spells very regularly. That's the thing. The stronger a combo becomes with a minimal amount of spells, the more valuable those spells become. So, on it, on their own, Spark Bolt is already something you're going to have all the time. Homing Missile, you're going to have that very regularly as well. Homing is just a very potent effect. People use it for Mist Wands, they use it for pretty much anything they can get their hands on. Damage Plus, you're always going to be taking that. But I want to show you why you should be taking Piercing Shot every time you see it. It is exceptional, and there are multiple ways of using it. So, another thing very unique about Piercing Shot is how it interacts with things that would normally explode on hit. For example, this thing has 520 explosion damage. Great, you can only use that six times, not super helpful. However, it deals 125 damage based on the impact alone. Let me show you what this damage looks like. So, we, we did 454 there with uh, just a spark bolt. This is what it looks like with something a little bit stronger. You can see we, we went... My god, look at that. It's doing 6,700. Uh, or 6,000, 7,000. All sorts of insane damage. And uh, you, see, you can see it still explodes at the end. Obviously that enemy would have died long ago, and this thing would have carried on to the next enemy thanks to homing. So that's another valuable way of doing it. What if I told you all you needed is a spark bolt, and you could be doing even more damage than that? So, let me uh, explain what this setup does. Let me, let me just set this up right. So, we've got piercing and homing on my trigger. This is a super basic trigger. You're going to find this all over the place. On top of that, we've got a damage increase on giant magic missile. Normally, triggers only activate once. With piercing, it will activate every single frame that it is touching an enemy. Check this out. 
I know it says 4,500, but uh, trust me, that was a lot of goddamn damage. Now, interestingly enough, normally that would obviously drain the wand entirely. It only used one. One charge. That was it. Meaning you were going to get a lot more bang for your buck out of uh, your limited use spells. And uh, we'll, we'll continue showing some of that off as we go here. But uh, yeah, that, that's, that's some of the basics. Now let's say you didn't find homing for whatever reason. Another way to uh, ensure that you get decent damage out of your piercing shot is by picking a much slower weapon. Or a much slower shot. The slower the shot, the more times you'll be able to get a hit off. You can see it's, it's doing well into the hundreds. Pretty regularly. And it, it's just because I've got a slower shot. You know, it's 3 damage versus 5 damage. It's not a super big difference. But you can see, uh, comparatively, you're getting a ton more damage out of Bubble Spark just because it's slower. Obviously, it's a tad less accurate, but that's a whole other story. Anyways, I've got a couple of other designs here that I want to show you uh, that make piercing very special. Uh, you can see I've got a super basic wand set up here with four different spells. We've got Piercing Shot, we've got Increased Duration, we've got Boomerang, and we've got Heal Projectile. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my fancy dancy little cheater here. We are going to set our health. So, you can see I am now heavily injured. I am missing 300 HP out of my 400, and uh, I need to heal. We're gonna take piercing off and I'll show you what it looks like when I heal with this normally. So this is going to heal me for, let me take a look here. Okay, so as you can see here, I only healed for a super minimal amount of health. Let's do that again, 117 to 126, nothing special. So let's go ahead and put that piercing shot on and see what happens then. Look at that. We healed a massive amount. Now, what if we put a good old increased duration on as well? We're just gonna go ahead and reset this HP down to 100. There we go. Look at that. Straight back up the full HP and we had stuff to spare. So, you might be wondering, oh, well, it's just because you don't have that much HP. What if I'm on a 2000 HP run, something like that? You probably don't need healing when you're on a 2000 HP run. What the hell are you doing? But uh, regardless, let, let's let's just show that off. See what happens. Go. So, got a crap ton of HP. We're down to 100. Look at that. Up to 966. 1876. If you're at this point, you're probably going to have more than one increased duration as well. There are many applications for a piercing shot. Also, uh, word of warning: do not put any damage on a wand like this. This will instantly kill you. Uh, just gonna put that out there, little PSA. So, nextly, talked about triggers, we've talked about homing and how common it is, how it's going to make you deal so much more damage. What's next on the list? Well, let's talk about stacking uh, various damage types on triggers. So, look at that. Well, it needs its homing, that would probably help. Look at that insane damage. You're not going to get that damage anywhere else. That's because of piercing. Normally, you'd say, oh, well, why wouldn't I just use a mist wand? The answer, why wouldn't you stack them? Use a mist wand along with any trigger, and you will have an absolute crap ton of damage coming out. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So, what other options do we have? Well, let's take a look, shall we? My god. <laughs> Look at the goddamn lag. I would not recommend trying this without melee immunity. These Eldritch portals will finally have a use. Also, yes, my frame rate is dipping immensely. Very little will be able to survive this level of damage. Any second now. Alright, looks like it's finally done. Okay, so that's what happens if you use Eldritch Portals alongside that. That's pretty fun. Look at that, it only was one cost. There is one very important thing along with this. Piercing is very expensive. A lot of the time, most wands cannot sustain that expensive of a spell. So, what do you do about that? 
This is going to be a sneak peek into my next video on creating infinity wands. Um, this is how you do it. Any reduced lifetime, you slap it on there and uh, pick a spell of choice. We're going to use Spark Bolt with Trigger because that I think that's going to be the most effective. We're going to put Homing on that so that way it tracks things down. We're going to go ahead and put, uh, let's see, put damage up on whatever's afterward. We're, we're not going to put it or put too many crazy things on it, just enough to make it extremely effective at murdering the hell out of stuff. Put a homing on this thing. Now, a, a very important aspect of using this wand is having the ability to keep the shot with you. A lot of the time, this wand will not shoot. That is just the nature of infinite wands. They just are 50 to 60, maybe even 70% duds. It really depends on what spell you're using with a decreased lifetime. Uh, once again, I'll go further into the details in this uh, on my next video of my spell archives. But for now, we're just going to stick with the piercing shot because it's a little bit more simple. Alright, so we've got our wand assembled here. Nothing super special. I mean, obviously some of these are very rare. You could swap out drilling shot with avoiding shot and or avoiding arc or floating. Either one of those would have a very similar effect and would be a lot cheaper than drilling shot. The reason why you'd want to use one of those is so that way this spark bolt doesn't end up getting stuck on anything. That's going to be very important in this build because if the spark bolt touches anything other than an enemy, like a wall for example, it is going to go away. So that's why drilling shot is so valuable to a build like this. Note that there are other projectiles you can infinite which don't have to worry about walls nearly as much but yeah let, let's just stick with this we'll see if we get lucky on our first shot it's unlikely but uh, spark bolt has been one of the most common ones to work you can see both of these are infinite shots here all right so we did not get it but that's okay We're, we'll start off with something a little bit more simplistic why don't i swap this out to a, a, a chainsaw and as you can see we've got quite the wand recharge when we do that so there we go. That is an infinite shot. You can see uh, just because of the way it's moving. It's being pulled between homing and boomerang. So the closer I get, the easier time it has getting to its target. So if we were to put another homing onto here, I bet you that that would very easily make it to our destination. So let's do a couple more shots here. These spark bolts will follow me anywhere. And it is unbelievably powerful. They will seek out enemies, and once they have destroyed them, they'll come back to me. There are limitations. If you get too far away from one of these spells, they will end up disappearing. That is the only way to get rid of one of these. But this is one of the amazing uses of piercing. Normally these shots would only deal uh, their damage once, and they would stop doing damage. This is a great way to make it so you can have that optimal damage output at all times. Keep in mind, these wands are small. You can get 25 cast wands. If you can jam pack that full of damage, you better believe there's nothing that'll compare. So, that's the basics of piercing. Now that you know this, you're going to be able to make your own amazing piercing wands, and I'm sure there are many more combinations that I haven't gone over. Please do feel free to share them in the comments, and let's see... What do you guys think about piercing? Also, keep in mind, we're doing this infinite lifetime build next. I'll catch you then. Oh, and here's what happens if you put any damage whatsoever onto this healing wand.